What is going on everybody? I'm back with a brand new video and today our plan is to find the furthest flying distance driver for myself. Now this is going to be more of a fun video but let me show you what I'm working with and what exactly we're doing. So my plan is what distance driver goes the furthest for an amateur player. How we're going to decide this is we have five discs that I have hand selected. We're going to throw them five times each and three of those throws have to be flat, Anheuser, and Heiser. The last two throws are going to be however I can get them the furthest. And then we'll add up all the distances at the end and that is our furthest flying distance driver. Let me show you what I picked. My first disc is the Hades. This is what I currently bag for my furthest flying distance driver. Then I have the Turn, which I used to bag, and then the Scorch, which I believe is one of the easiest discs to get distance. All three of those discs are pretty understable, so it makes sense for a amateur's slower arm speed and why I would think they would go the furthest. Next, I have a disc that the pros would throw just to kind of compare and see. We have a nuke, baby. Shout out Ezra Aderhold. Discraft pros are throwing the nuke for some of their max distance shots. So I thought it'd be interesting to compare the distance with this and see if there's really any comparison there. And lastly, you hear all the time people are saying how, oh, you don't have the arm speed for that disc. Okay, so I brought out a slower fairway driver, the Discmania Essence, which I believe is one of the furthest fairway drivers that I have bagged. Let's get right into this and see what kind of distances we can achieve today. I do want to clarify, I have a range finder, so this is not going to be U-disc distances. This should be pretty accurate. We're going to throw from my bag. We're going to start out with some flat releases. We kind of have a helping tailwind today. Oh yeah. I don't think that's very far, but you know, first throws of the day. Oh, stabled out a little bit faster than the Hades. We're not putting much sauce on those. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, the turn. That's where it's gonna hurt. Cause the turn, obviously it turns and it did not actually wanna fly. <clears throat> Same thing with the Essence a little bit, but it actually fights out. I think that went further than the turn. Last but not least, we got the nuke. Oh, I slipped though. I feel like that's not really fair because I slipped, but I think we kind of have to go with it because it is what it is at this point. Five throws each. I want to keep this as close to five throws as possible. I don't want to be re-throwing because then I feel like I'm also cheating because then maybe I get more power on it or whatever. So, so we're just going to go with the conditions today. If I slip on a throw, I guess we have to live with it and make it up on the next throw. I don't think those really went all that far. First throws of the day. But let's see what kind of distances we have. I'm thinking max is probably like maybe 350 not that far i think where the turn is going to succeed is if we could get a nice hyzer flip out of it because thrown flat it just kind of went right to the ground we have 303 feet 371 feet with the hades so that's probably that's pretty good that's not too bad i'm getting 364 384 not bad for the first throw of the day, 313. All right, there you have it. First round in the books. Scorch is taking the lead on the flat release and the Hades in essence is not far behind. Drone back up. We're gonna go with some anti releases this time. Still got that tailwind I've been talking about. So hopefully that kind of helps us push a little bit further. That's gonna be way too much. That's gonna roll. That's horrible distance. Just because we throw them on Annie doesn't mean I have to put them on a ton of Annie. That's what I gotta realize here. <clears throat> Just like that. Oh, Scorch is panning out in this tailwind. I like that. I think I did bring out a new one. <sighs> yeah, keep going. Much better flight out of that time. Any shots, I feel like is how people get a ton of distance. For me, it's always been hyzer flips. I feel like my anti shots don't go that far. Maybe I get them two nose up. Ah. Ah, I just totally, the essence had no chance. This is where the new can really catch up. <clears throat> if it pans out and put it high enough, I don't know if that's any better or not. The Scorch continuing to do great things here. The first one in the 400s. I had to range find that like 10 times. I promise because I didn't think it went 400 
and nine feet, but every time I range find it, I got 409 to 410. So we're going with the range finder here. I didn't think it went that far. The nuke slowly catching up, especially since we have bad throws with the Hades in essence. Next up are some Heiser releases. Hopefully we can get those understable discs to flip up, ride a little bit and get some max distance. This round I want five consistent throws. No slips, no misreleases, just five good throws to get some true distance here. Too low, probably. Dang it! Oh, that's probably my worst one yet with the Scorch. I threw it on Heiser, but I threw it like a spike Heiser and, and not a driven flip-up Heiser. Oh, got some turn out of it. I grunted really hard, that's why. It kind of just stayed right though. It never really fought out of it. I like it. I like it. Come on, start fighting though. How are you staying right? Oh, I got it to flip up the flat. So it's going to actually go a little bit. Not very far though. Yeah, but that's better than I anticipated. Oh boy, so the turn, even though it didn't come back, 399 feet. Next, 371 for the nuke. You had some misfires with the Scorch and Hades. Hades 329, Scorch 325, and the Essence 366. So it is hanging in there. 360, it looks like, is my max distance for the Essence so far. But the next two throws, I can throw them any angle I want in order to get it to go the furthest possible. What's hurting me the most right now is just misreleases. When I have good releases, I feel like they're going a decent ways. You know, I'm happy with 380 to 400. When I hit 400, I get excited. Turn, 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 turn. All right, that's not a bad Hades rip. I still think it was a little too nose up. Scorch is turning more. Does it have the fade still pushing forward? <clears throat> oh, too much hyzer with the turn. Oh man. That's why I wanted to do a full competition to throw those angles first and then throw whatever I could to get there. Because a part of this, you have to factor in that I'm an amateur and bad releases, slips, things like that are just gonna happen on the course all the time. So I wanted to try to make this semi-fair. Again, too much hyzer. I feel like all those were just decent. Push, 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 skip. Oh, what a huge skip. Apparently I'm shocking myself out here. It's gotta be the tailwind. But I just threw that nuke 423 feet. It got a great skip at the end. 423 is kind of really good distance for me. Not even kind of, it is really good distance for me. If I could hit like 425, 430 all the time, I'd be so happy. Last time, here we go, for all the glory. That's such a line drive. <laughs> Just haven't been able to get the height and the turn that I need for the Hades today. <sighs> Same thing with the Scorch. Two times in a row. <sighs> Are you serious? Wide open field, I still can't get the disc in the air. There we go, finally. I'm guessing that'll go about 360, 350. Oh, I hit the goal post, it went backwards. I have no idea how far this actually needs to go, but I really feel like the new could win it. <laughs> Great Annie that I put it on last time. It needs to skip though. Uh, not nearly the distance as I got it last time. All right, let's tally these up. All right, guys, I had to get out of the cold. I was freezing out there. So I came back, did the numbers, and by my surprise, the nuke actually pulled it out, which is kind of insane. As I'm looking at the numbers, what seems to have happened was since I made it mandatory to throw certain angles, it seems like the nuke did better 
You can see when you look at the Hades, the turn, the more understable stuff, there is always like at least one number that either the disc turned all the way over so it couldn't hold the line. So in those instances, the Nuke was just more of the consistent disc because it was nice and stable and it could hold any line I really put it on. And in fact, the only number that was below 370 is the one that I slipped on. So that flat release probably still would have went 370 feet, which is kind of insane. The Essence, it was doing pretty good, 350 feet it seemed like, 366 feet was pretty much my max out of that. And I would say that's pretty good because some of my high speed drivers only went like 370 feet. Pretty interesting, kind of cool looking at the numbers, but really I think the Nuke was just more consistent on every angle and that's why it won today. So very interesting. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like I said, this was kind of just a fun thing I had in my mind that I wanted to try. So that's why we did it today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.